Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're continuing with the uh, third part of our uh, Robo Instructors game series. And before we get started, I'd like to thank you guys for the uh, comments you've been leaving on the videos. I know in the last video, uh, we there was a comment from the developer himself of this game, and uh, there's been a bunch of helpful comments from a bunch of you guys too. Uh, I know just past a uh, couple days, there was a comment about how to much better go about uh, commenting out your code. Uh, so there's apparently uh, apparently you can uh, uh, control and forward slash to comment out several lines of code at once. So that's going to be helpful in uh, in this in, in going forward. And there was another comment about um, saving some some processing time by assigning RoboScan, which we use often, to a variable. So. I'm going to try and incorporate that uh, into the code moving forward. So definitely appreciate all the uh, advice you guys have been leaving. And please continue to do, uh, to do so. Uh, with all that said, uh, let's get started this level. So we've unlocked a new type of tile it's, uh, from what I'm seeing here. It says uh, these uh, are data stores and they have a uh, RoboScan uh, result uh, code of 11. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, let's get started. Okay, so they return a uh, safe location ID. Okay. Uh, all right, let's, let's see what's happening here. Uh, so we've got one of those uh, tiles here. And over here we've got a variable for uh, the RoboScan saves it right there, and there's a variable for the forward location. It's a variable for the exit location. Okay, so again, like like I did before, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna uh, comment out this this code. I I tend to kind of prefer to do things, try them out first, and see uh, what what is going on first because this might end up having me you know going about it the wrong way so actually you know what uh, let's undo that and just run what run the code to see what happens oh that's a bit too fast okay let's try that again see what happens here so what happens is that let's run that again what happens is the RoboScan is being uh, saved in the variable data store scan, and that's a uh, value of 11, which is, is for the uh, location data store tiles. And then uh, the, the variable in front one is assigned the uh, value of, of, this, uh, of the tiles itself as well. And that's 5128 and then the uh, robot moves forward so uh, the, the uh, robot uses the tile and that's assigned to the variable exit location and I guess the exit location then reveals itself okay there's the exit location and it's uh, ID is 9095 and then another variable called in front 2 is is uh, is given the value of the tile in front of the robot and then the robot moves forward again okay so uh, from what I'm seeing the Exit location is is definitely an, an important variable, um, and we're still going to need to make a loop, like uh, we have in the previous levels, because uh, otherwise the, the code just runs once, and then we have this happening. The uh, the robot just stops. Um, so let's 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 comment this out. Uh, that's control and forward slash to. Uh, comment out several lines of code at once 
saves a bunch of time. So thanks to the uh, commenter who mentioned that. Um, okay. So let's see. Let's open our loop. And yeah, we want to open a loop. And again, we want to uh, uh, set up the variable for uh, exit location. That's going to be uh, passed once we use the tile. So let's set up the variable uh, exit location. I'm just going to call it that exit location. Okay. And then uh, we're going to want to set up the code for what the robot does when it uh, comes across any kind of these tiles, right? So in this in this stage we've got three kinds of tiles we've got a um we've got normal we've got uh we've got unknown and we've got um what is this location data stores right so let, let me just look through the uh, other levels yeah so there's there's pretty much only three kinds of tiles in this stage that we have to concern ourselves with so that that's gonna save us some some uh, time when we're just coding out what kinds of uh, tiles the uh, robot robo scan should should check for so uh, if robo scan is uh, is 11 that's for a location data store. We want him to uh, go forward. We want him to go forward onto the tile. And then uh, we'd like him to use the tile, right? And once he's used that, the, the tile's gonna give the safe uh, location ID, right? And we're, so we're going to uh, assign that ID to the exit location variable. Okay. Uh, robo use. Okay. So let's, let's just run that for the first time and see. Uh, okay. We just want to make sure that the uh, exit location gets that value it does okay and another uh, thing was that uh, exit location started uh, started with a value of what was it at the a value of zero okay all right so uh, okay uh, and then yeah let's continue with the uh, types of tiles that we could come across. So we've got unknown tiles. If uh, RoboScan is is minus nine nine nine, that's for uh, yeah unknown tiles. Then we want we want to uh, wait a minute. If uh, the uh, the exit the, uh, exit location could potentially be a let me re rephrase this uh, an unknown tile could potentially be an exit location. So if you have a look at this, uh, if you have a look at what happens again, uh, let's run this again. Mm. Comment this out. If you have a look at what happens, an unknown tile becomes the exit location. So when we're checking for uh, unknown look uh, unknown tiles, when we're checking for unknown tiles, we also want to check that it's not the uh, or that it is or is not the uh, uh, exit location. So if the RoboScan 
gives a value of negative 999. Uh, and if uh, exit location is uh, is the location in front of the robot. Then we move forward. All right. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Robo forward. Okay. But if it's not, then we want to treat it like any regular old, uh, any regular old uh, unknown tile, right? So that means we just move to the left of it. Just move to the left left of it. Okay, so let's let's see what happens here. Just running this. Okay, so another problem here. I haven't put the uh, code for normal tiles, so forgot to do that. So I'll just put that below this. Actually, I'll put it above it because. I think that might be better. Uh, if uh, RoboScan gives a result of uh, one for uh, that's for normal tiles, right? Is one? Then you just want to go forward. Robo forward. Okay, so I think that should fix that, right? Okay, so he's he's still uh, he's he's ignoring every uh, unknown tile that isn't the exit location, which is exactly what we want. Okay, so hope well, he does the same thing here. Perfect. Okay. So he's he's just gonna have to scan every tile before he comes to the uh, location tile. That's perfect. Okay. And then he comes back to it. He checks it and he goes forward. Okay. That's perfect. I hope this works too. So we can just uh, clear this out once once the uh, run is done. Okay, that's perfect. Uh, so now we've got a new primer section recovered. That's a uh, the continue. That's loops two. The continue keyword can be used to restart a loop midway, while the break keyword can be used to exit the current loop. So far, uh, as far as my uh, solutions have been uh, uh, are concerned, I haven't used more than one loop. I've just used like one single loop. So this wouldn't work in any of the uh, solutions I've had so far because it would break the whole loop because there's only one loop, right? So I guess maybe future levels might have solutions requiring more than one loop. I, uh, that that might be that that would be interesting, sure. So see the score here. So the score is uh, twenty one. Uh, best possible one seems to be ten. Time is quite long, and uh, run size is, is is pretty reasonable. Looking at this, I'm just gonna have a look at this. See if there is anything I could I could do here to. Uh, to uh, improve this, so okay, like uh, like I said earlier, there was a uh, comment about how you could set a variable to uh, uh, Robo Scan. So scan, oh, set a variable to uh, to uh, Robo Scan. 
So we, we initialize a variable called scan and we make it equal to robo scan. And then in places where we have robo scan, we just write scan. So this hopefully reduces the uh, the uh, runtime. This is the first time I'm using this, so I'm not sure what effect, how much of an effect it would have. So let's see this. So let's run that again. Okay, let's just speed that up. All right. Oh, that's much better. That's much better. So thanks a lot to the uh, commentary. I think that was uh, YT. Uh, I want to get his name right, actually. Let me look him up. Uh, that was a comment by YF23. <laughs> Thank you very much for the uh, advice. That's much more efficient than what I've been doing all along. So that saved that uh, shaved down uh, a couple points off the uh, run size. And uh, yeah, I think the time as well has, has been reduced. So yeah, definitely going to be using this from now on. Uh, okay, so let's go on to the next level. This is level four, five, seven, level seven. Okay, so there's not, there's no, there's no uh, information before the level. So I guess we're just expected to uh, use what we know by now to solve this. So let's just, uh, let's copy our, our uh, code from the last level and see what uh, see what happens once we run the code let's slow this down a little bit so we've got an exit location and we're heading toward it and we get there okay so first thing we notice is that compared to the last level there's a new type of uh, tile here there's absent there's absent uh, tiles present in this level. Now what was the uh, what was the uh, RoboScan code for absent tiles? Let's look that up real quick. Mm. I think it was negative one. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, negative one means no, no tile at all. So we just have to add uh, a scan for that. Uh, if scan Uh, if scan is is negative one, then we just want to move left. Okay. Now let's run that again and see what happens. Speed that up a little. Well, no. Let's just keep running the speed. It might be helpful to see any potential uh, errors okay so it's working well so far uh, he's activated the second location tile and he's heading toward the uh, next exit location okay uh, I can see where we might have run into another uh, issue here we haven't set up code for uh, what are these called again these are exit tiles right Exit tiles. What what was their code? Exit tiles have a. Uh, is this, no, that's a power switch. Is it? That's a power switch, not an exit tile. What what is this uh, thing called again? It's a. Uh, I think it's a. What is this? It's a power switch, right? Those are power switches. Yeah, those are power switches. Uh, yeah, I think those are power switches. 
Okay, so uh, if scan is is ten, then we just go forward, and that should fix that issue. Okay, speed this up a little bit. See what happens. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. What is this? This isn't a. Uh... Go forward. What is this? This is a. Um... It's not telling me what the uh, what the value of the of the scan is. What's the value of the scan? Oh, uh, hold, hold on. Let's try this again. Speed up up till there, and then slow it down, and then run on. Uh, Okay, it's minus one. This is one. What is this guy? Okay, it's minus one, it's absent. Robo left. He scans it again. Oh, it's two. Oh, okay. My mistake. So it's not ten, it's two. Well, it's two. Uh, two is called a exit. So that's an exit. Okay, I keep... I just made a mistake there. Thought that was a uh, switch of some kind. So let's just call that two. Okay. And just try this again. And this should work this time around. Yeah, okay. Okay, so now there's a power switch. So. We can add the code for that. Okay, so he's activated the switch. He's heading toward the uh, exit location. Okay, he's done that fine. Now he's going to go to the next location tile. Activate that, seal this uh, exit off, and then... and then open up a new exit and then he's got to go to the uh, power tile to activate it right so if you if you remember from the uh, previous previous uh, level we had some code for power tiles and uh, and that was what was it uh, that was to make sure that if the power tile had been used already, then uh, we we don't activate it again. So we only activated power tile if it, uh, it it hadn't been activated yet. So if scan is ten, if scan is ten, then robo forward. Robo forward and then robo use and then another if within that if your robo use is one then we want to move forward so this pretty much means if the uh, tile if the uh, power switch it, it has already been turned on, then we just want to ignore it. Uh, but if it hasn't, then we want to use it. Okay. So can we just try that again?
speed that up a bit. Okay. Okay, so he's set up the exit location and now we have to go there and activate this to open this up. Okay, so he's done that. He's done the check to make sure that he's leaving it on. Okay, that's perfect. So we're... Uh, what's happening over here? Hang on. So what's happening here is that these... Uh, these switches, uh, these location, I keep I'm mixing up the names of these tiles, but these these location uh, tiles are are giving are like they're they keep resetting what the exit location is. So he doesn't quite get to one exit location before he reactivates uh, one of the two. So. What we'd have to do here is uh, see this. What we have to do here is make is is check that uh, he only activates. Hang on. We have to make sure he only activates one of the uh, tiles. If. Uh, there isn't already a value for X location. So it's kind of like what we just did with the uh, power power uh, power switch in the in the previous one, where he 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 ignores it if it's already been on, right? So kind of the same thing here. We want him to ignore a tile if he's already got a value from a similar tile. So, what that means is, uh, what that means is under here, we, this is the uh, code for these tiles, these location tiles. If uh, exit location if exit location is zero, which remember when at the start of the code, exit location, oh, excuse me, just hang on a minute and comment that out for a minute. If you remember at the start of the code, exit location has value of zero, right? Right there. So up until he, he scans or uses one of these location tiles, exit location has a value of zero. So if exit location is zero, then, uh, then exit location will be given a value of robo use. So what that means is that he won't be, you know, getting a he won't be getting confused every time. He won't be getting a new exit location. Each time he comes across one of these uh, tiles, so if we run that, that problem should be solved of him kind of just bouncing exit locations back and forth. So see, he gets here. Uh, hang on, he gets here, and he doesn't activate it. But, but the problem here is that. The problem here is that this exit location, uh, it, it doesn't lead anywhere. So, so this exit location uh, is is kind of surrounded by absent absent tiles. So he couldn't he couldn't use this for anything like anything more than just standing there, right? So. Let's see. So the first one, okay. The first one, 
has an exit location there and the other one had an exit location over here so what we want to do is only uh, what we want to do is when he gets here you want him to be able to use this location tile and get a new and get a new uh, exit right so when he gets here when he gets to this tile when he's literally on the tile we want to set you want to set We want to set uh, our exit location back to zero. So the moment he's on the tile, yeah, he goes forward, right? So the moment he gets there, we want to add code for him to set exit location back to zero so that when he turns around and scans this guy again he gets a new uh, gets a new exit location at, at this tile so I, I hope this makes sense uh, so exit location we give it a value of zero because remember we only use our uh, we only use these uh, location tiles when the exit location is zero so he'll use it now that we're setting it back to zero at this point so set that equal to zero and let's run that again so hopefully this works okay so he gets there he sets it to zero and he gets yeah that's perfect that's exactly what we wanted. So when he gets there, he he clears, like uh, the exit look. Uh, his his understanding of what exit location is, so he can re-enable uh, the next the the uh, location tile in front of him. So yeah, he gets there, and. That's perfect. Okay, so now it's just gonna go back and run the uh, the levels before this. So let's just speed that up. I don't think the code affects the levels before this, so it should still work just fine. Okay, that's perfect. It's perfect. Okay, working well. Okay. Perfect. Okay, perfect. That is perfect. We've we've done it. We finished the uh, level, and we've recovered a new message. This is uh, this all kind of story. And again, uh, you can pause the uh, video and just read through it if if you'd like to. Uh, we've unlocked loops three. It says consider the use of loop that turns left five times. Uh, variable of loop count equals to one and while the loop runs there's an if uh, uh, with variable loop count that stops the loop if loop uh, goes above five and while that isn't true while the the loop is while well, loop count has value under five uh, loop count is incremented by one and the robot turns left. So, okay, yeah, uh, we've now, we're now also able to use the uh, keywords for and while. So I've, I've just been using the uh, the tools that the game gives as it inter introduces them. I haven't been kind of, I didn't know that you could use while loops. So that's really interesting. Uh, okay, yeah, it can help create simpler code that achieves the same result. Okay, that's perfect. So for while loops, you have to 
uh, create the uh, variable outside of the loop. Uh, but in for loops, you can create the variable right uh, right in the um, right in the declaration of the loop. So that's how for loops work. Uh, while loops, I think you have to have the uh, variable outside of the loop. So okay, let's continue. Let's see our score as well. Okay, uh, we've unlocked a new function. Robo location returns the ID of the current tile the robot is standing on and has a runtime of 25 milliseconds. Okay. So that's our score. Uh, solution size was 37, which kind of is, it's kind of average, isn't it? Like most, most people are kind of, are right in this range right here. A bunch of people, a couple people have like really long solutions. Uh, run size is a bit worse than average. Uh, time, yeah. I mean, the result is is, is kind of it's it's okay. It's not it's not the best. I'm sure. Okay, I'm sure. I I don't know how uh, or like or logic lo logic or works in this in this game. If if I if I was if I knew how I, I would um, th there is a solution there's a way to uh, implement it here you could say if scan is one or two then robo four that that would save you two lines of code there uh, but I'm not sure how or works in this game I know uh, in in some languages or would be that. So let's let's actually try that. Let's try uh, that. If scan is one or two, does that work? Aha! Uh -huh. So uh, no, that doesn't work. Hmm. So I'm just gonna undo that. Okay. So yeah. Uh, there's, there, I'm not sure exactly how I could simplify this. You got, uh, got a couple things there. And then, yeah, anyway, if you guys have any advice about how to simplify some of this code, please, by all means, uh, leave your comments in the comment section. I definitely go through all these comments and I try and, uh, incorporate anything that's helpful into uh, the game going forward uh, appreciate all the uh, support and advice you guys have given so far and there's a bunch more levels we've just unlocked now so uh, some more of the uh, of the uh, story okay all right so that's the two levels done and uh, yeah, I think I'm going to wrap up the video right here. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, have a great day.